happened this many times before. Many, many, many How times How do you deal before. with it, dog? I mean, you know, I, see, I know the he truth. He got it. Quickly, he moved forward from me to Marjorie. In the realm of Steve Harvey's love life, shocking details are rising. The charismatic TV personality appears to have a long record of infidelity, and reports of his most recent wrongdoing are making headlines. According to rumors, Steve couldn't resist the draw of temptation despite being married to his wife, Marjorie Harvey. But now the spotlights are on Steve as the controversy unfolds, eager to see how this charismatic charmer will manage the aftermath of his alleged cheating. As we know, the drama never seems to end in the Harvey household. It appears that Marjorie Harvey, the stunning and strong-willed wife of Steve Harvey, has had enough of his manipulative style. Every time she turns around, there seem to be scandalous whispers swirling around Steve, casting doubt on his commitment to their relationship. But this time, it's something big. Sources close to Marjorie reveal that she is utterly fed up with the constant rumors and speculations surrounding Steve's faithfulness and that they might be on the brink of divorce, which won't look good for Steve's rising career as well. So driving back in time, when he first got married to his first wife Marcy, in 1980, they welcomed twin girls, Carly and Brandy, after a few years. At the time, Steve was struggling with trying to make a name for himself and worked as an insurance salesman. But after trying stand-up comedy and winning a $1.50 first place prize, he decided to quit his job to pursue a life in comedy. Well, there he hit the jackpot of fame and success. Marsha and Steve's relationship was not an easy one, and it ultimately led to their divorce in 1994, and the major reason behind it was that Steve was absent most of the time and also cheated on her. This is heartbreaking, but what is sadder is that the years that followed were difficult for Steve and his relationship with children Brandy and Carly. However, Marsha has kept a quiet profile since then, although it appears that she has also become a published novelist as she seemed to avoid the drama and focus on raising her three kids, Brandy, Carly, and Broderick. But at the same time, she published some books where she hinted that Steve might have cheated on her while he was barely home. Now moving forward, let's dive into another dramatic marriage of Steve Harvey, shall we? It all started when Steve allegedly began seeing his second wife, Mary Shackelford, while his divorce from his first wife, Marcia, was still pending. Suspicious, right? The two lovebirds tied the knot in 1996, but their relationship hit rocky shores, leading to their messy split in 2005. And wait for it because things are about to escalate. In the years following their separation, Steve found himself entangled in a web of controversies. However, Mary boldly claimed that Steve had cheated on her with his future third wife Marjorie, among other shocking allegations. Quickly, he moved forward from me to Marjorie. Uh, that was disturbing. During their nearly 10-year relationship, Mary had seen Steve's spectacular rise in the entertainment world from the sidelines, but their once harmonious marriage fell apart, leaving Mary with a sour taste in her mouth. Their 17-year marriage ended in divorce, which sent shockwaves across the entertainment industry. Mary, in her quest for justice, took to YouTube, uploading videos to garner support and expose the alleged misdeeds of her ex-husband. In these videos, she didn't hold back accusing Steve of adultery, as well as physical and psychological abuse. The scandal reached its peak when Steve decided to take legal action against Mary. Filing a lawsuit to put an end to her damaging allegations, he claimed that her statements lacked evidence and were unjustified. This many times before. Many, many, many How times How do you deal before. with it, dog? I mean, you know, I, see, I know the you truth. Got in your mix. I know the truth, but the matter is... The part that's hurtful in here is my wife and children have to be drugged into this. Uh, you know, if, if you're going to be vindictive, then go ahead and just aim it at me. But my son is coming in the room crying. And, that, and that's also her son. Right? Uh -huh. So why you would do this? I, and, and I don't even understand the purpose of it. I mean, I got you mad. But you, you 12 years ago, that's what we're doing now? After their divorce, it was soon enough when he reconnected with Marjorie and married her in 2007. Their marriage resulted in the merging of their individual families, which had a total of seven children. Although the Family Feud presenter has been married twice before, his connection with Marjorie is unlike anything he's ever known. 
Marjorie changed the way I existed, he confessed to people in 2012. I'd never been in a healthy adult relationship. I'd never been loyal. I'd never been fully respected. The rumors are going around that Steve's marriage is hanging on the cliff. After all, it is Steve's fault again. And if you are also wondering what happened between them, fasten your seatbelts. As you all know, Steve already has a history of cheating, but recently, he has been rumored to have an affair with Kris Jenner, and that's shocking. Due to this, Family Feud comedian and host Steve Harvey faced a $400 million divorce bombshell from Marjorie. Well, he wouldn't have been whirled in this storm if he was not getting too close to showbiz friend Kris Jenner. And if Steve thought he would make his infidelity go away this time, he was mistaken. According to an insider, Steve's cozying up to Kris Kardashian behind the closed door of so-called business meetings, never-ending phone chats, and non-stop gossip has made Marjorie rage and anger. And that doesn't look good for their marriage from any side. This act of Steve caused major turbulence in his married life, and even a source disclosed to Radar Online that there was a huge blowout fight and Marjorie walked out threatening divorce. The source also added that there's no way she was going to put up with Steve hanging around a man-eater like Chris, especially since he's proven time and again he can't be trusted. Even though Steve and 62-year-old Chris, a two-time divorcee, have been buddy-buddy for years. However, Marjorie doesn't really favor this friendship, which makes the fans more suspicious that there must be something fishy going on between the two. So basically, Steve met Chris for the first time during Paris Fashion Week in 2015. They've also been seen out in Hollywood on various different occasions hand in hand. However, it's not just that because Chris also appeared on his talk show to help boost ratings of Steve's show. After all, why wouldn't she? Get you in trouble is a tie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that right there. It's a tie, it's a tie. Chris, you and those girls have just stayed just very, very kind people. Oh, and that's what you. I wish that everybody would understand about you and those girls. Thank You're you. very kind thank people. You. So thank you for coming. Thank you. thank you. Chris even persuaded her daughters to attend the Family Feud show to further cement their relationship. Despite their obvious closeness, a TV insider said that Chris doesn't have any interest in Steve romantically because she has other plans. And by the plans, it is meant that Chris is using Steve hoping to manipulate him into sharing his TV genius tactics so she can use and implement those to boost her own falling empire. Keeping up with the Kardashians has been the biggest hit of the decade, the show which was initially started by Ryan Seacrest. On the other hand, it is Chris who now desperately seeks guidance to grow her solely own showbiz brand. The source exposes Chris and her intentions by saying, Chris has tried to produce a long list of shows, but Steve has the golden touch when it comes to TV. That's why Chris is looking to him for professional help. Angry over the pair's coziness, Marjorie then thought of revenge and started frequently posting several videos of her exercise with her hunky and handsome-looking personal trainer on her socials. This was quite a warning from Marjorie to Steve for not taking her lightly. This whole fuzzy drama involving a lawsuit was just about to hit the climax when Steve decided to take a step back. However, talking about lawsuits, let's not forget what happened with the one Steve's ex, Mary Lee, filed. Mary socked Steve with a $60 million lawsuit, claiming he bullied her out of a fortune during their divorce, and his cheating triggered a breakdown that landed her in a mental hospital. Mary's sister, Ruth Luttrell, fumed. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Steve's up to his old tricks. It's nothing new. Marjorie will end up divorcing him and taking him for everything he's got. Love was sued by his ex-wife, but this time his ex-lover Terry Smith also showed up. She claims to have had a nine-year relationship with comedian Steve Harvey, and she sued Harvey and Big City Enterprises over the rights to the book she wrote about their relationship, Men Will Lie When the Truth Will Do, which Harvey allegedly fears will harm his pure, good guy, and likable Christian image. Terry was allegedly the secret mistress of Steve, with whom he was still lingering after he married Marjorie. This means this whole drama with Kris Jenner was not the first bombshell on Marjorie. Some rumors also say that he made fake promises to Terry that one day he would marry her, but then ended up marrying Marjorie, which made her come after him. Well, it seems like it is in Steve's nature to cheat on their loyal partners, and that Marjorie should be watchful of him before she loses him. Meanwhile, this was the lowest time of Steve's marriage which he somehow managed to get a hold of. 
But some critics still believe that is a glimpse of karma which hit Marjorie for wrecking Steve's marriage with Mary Lee. So how do you think Steve is going to behave this time? Will he be back at his cheating business after a while or not?